Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. And I'm here to review this Faraday cage experiment, and also this electromagnetic shielding experiment. And you'll see this one doesn't have a roof to the cage. So we've got a foil base, and we've got four walls of chicken wire. And this is the same chicken wire that is in the walls of my home, as I live in a stucco home. And we have a plant in here, and you can see that that plant has a battery connected to it. So the negative connects to the pot, the positive connects to the plant. And what we're doing is we're actually putting a voltage between the upper stem structure and the roots. And that voltage occurs in nature. I've been suspecting for a while that these cages may actually collapse the atmospheric voltage inside them. And that's why the plants that I put inside of these cages typically die. And I've yet to actually grow a plant inside one of these cages that hasn't died. So they typically die after about a year of being inside the cage. And they show extensive deformity before they die. So this one is window screening. So this is aluminum mesh window screening. We've got a foil base. So this is the full Faraday cage. And again, we've got a plant in there. These are Diefenbachia plants. And the positive is connected to the upper stem and the negative connects to the metal pot. And we're going to leave them for a year and we're gonna let them grow inside the respective cages. And as soon as I have any more information, I will do another video. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.